Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. Today we got an update on how the turrets are changing. This is the first real update since the weapons and hardpoints document that was launched on the 13th of March 2015. I've got that document linked up in the description for you and here's what you need to know about the changes. Turrets can only be attached to special turret capable hardpoints. Turrets will have their own weapon mounts but now can also mount ammo and other systems. For balance, the original turret size rating is gone, and they confirm that turrets can only be swapped among ship variants. So a Vanguard Harbinger turret will fit on a hoplite, but not on a caterpillar. They now list two classes of turrets, manned and remote. Both can be controlled by AI or by a player. You won't be able to take a manned turret and replace it with a remote turret or vice versa. Manned turrets have a physical seat inside. They're controlled by a living, breathing player or an AI. Remote turrets are controlled from a crew station elsewhere on the ship or by the pilot. Now they didn't actually specify that the pilot can control remote turrets, however, the Super Hornet now has two of them, the ball and the canard. Any turret that has the required hardware to support an AI blade can be made autonomous or auto-discriminating. We still need to see how an AI crew member will stack up to an auto-turret AI. One will be more effective, but the AI crew member may have better skill or a more expensive AI module may track with better accuracy. It's really going to come down to money. A point defense turret comes standard with the AI module integrated, but they're optimized towards killing incoming missiles or torpedoes. This one made me very happy. From a player's perspective, everyone who gets into a turret should have that experience that we've all seen on sci-fi movies. The turrets are being worked on and balanced to allow for that type of experience, so you won't need to hire 10 AI as turret fillers. The intent is that you'll have an advantage if you choose to crew your turret with your friends over letting subsumption sit in the chair. I like the idea because after all it is a multiplayer game and we should have a reason to play as a team. They closed out with a list that updates the ships that used to have twin link mounts that are now classified as remote turrets. As I said earlier I would expect that pilots can control remote turrets just like a gimbal because the Super Hornet is listed and the community might lose their mind if they change it. Another thing I'd like to know is if in a small ship like the 85X, if the passenger is able to control the remote turret. It's implied in a Super Hornet, but if they now both mount remote turrets, I'd expect them both to be used the same way. Fellow citizens, it's a pleasure making content for you. The channel is fast approaching 30,000 subscribers, and the support that I get from the comments is humbling. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.